How's it going, YouTube? This is Trainer Connor, and you're about to watch another Wi-Fi battle video here. But we're on showdown once again because I don't have that many battles in my Alpha Sapphire game yet. But I will be getting some more real soon, so be on the lookout for that. Alright, so today's opponent, we're going to be doing the OU tier, the overuse tier. And I like this battle because I'm trying out some awesome new Pokemon. I have a Mega Character, Rotom Wash, a Hirashi. Specially Defensive Togekiss, Gudra, and Infernape. Now I do start with Infernape here. It's a Choice Band Artifice variant. I go with a U-turn at the start of the match. Infernape handles four of the six Pokemon that my opponent is bringing, so it's important to keep him alive during this match. So we do avoid the Earthquake from Mega Agon, and now I'm forcing him to switch out into his Celebi here, Cotton Candy. Awesome. And I actually get to try out the combination of Thunder Wave and Hex. I was hoping I could do a lot more damage than that. Just saying, because Hex does a lot of damage when your opponent has a status condition. It doubles in power, so... We're going to go into my especially defensive Togekiss, which wows that Celebi set. So we'll be forcing another switch out so why bother go with another Thunder Wave when we know we have Zip Strike that to deal with? We're going to set up with a plus two modifier to my special attack, which actually does a lot of damage. And we do see the prowess of specially defensive Togekiss as a combination of Thunderbolt and Volkswish won't do enough to my Togekiss here. And we'll be able to boost off that damage. Awesome! So now we're expecting a steel type move, Heavy Slam, go back into Rotom Wash. This is a bulky Rotom Wash. I have a very bulky team. I make a misplay right here because I went for a pain split. I was actually expecting the Celebi to come back in, which is why I went for that. Now Sushenka goes with a Perk Hatch, trying to see what I'm going to go for. But I was going to go for Hydro Pump to finish off the Sushenka. Even if he wants to bring back in Celebi, I can always switch out and go into something else. So here is Starmie. Starmie being shiny is really cool. And I actually don't have an answer for Starmie. The only thing that could probably take on Starmie is my Mega Chimeratar. You're like, what? Chimeratar is weak to Starmie. Well, if I can hopefully survive a Scald and not get burned, we can weaken him down to the point where my choice band and Frank Ape can revenge kill. So I know he's gonna probably burn me eventually, so we'll go s s pursue and stealth lock here. That way I can lower down the Starmie's health a little bit and then set up some entry hazards. And then we can revenge kill with Frank Ape, as mentioned, with a mock punch. So that worked out pretty well for me. Now he decides to bring in uh, Shiny Scallopy. So Shiny Scallopy, I know Scallopy can protect and get the speed boost to raise its speed by one stage. So we'll go into my Shirashi who avoids a Mega Horn. It wouldn't take me out because of Shirashi's massive bulk. It has... This particular Shirashi has a little bit of special defense EVs and physical defense EVs. So it's designed to be kind of like a wish support. It has healing wish. So, and unfortunately we're not going to be using that move in this battle. But it's a nice little supporter for the team there. We do double switch out. We both switch out in that case. And I go the U-turn because I know Fire Punch and Close Combat won't work against Agon. It won't do very much. So we're going to my Gudra to hopefully lower down the Agon's health a little bit. And yeah, this is great because the Infernape can once again revenge kill with his attacks. So right here, my opponent was trying to Death Fogger and see what move I'm going to lock myself into. But the remaining Pokemon that he has are weak to Infernape. So the match is going to be sealed here because... I'm going to outspeed the remaining Pokemon and just 
mail them out with the combination of entry hazards and fire punch. So that was a really good game there. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I know that was kind of a quick battle, but that was still a fantastic battle. 3-0 to win there. Alright, well, I hope you guys enjoy this upload. I don't know when this is going out, but when this is out, hit that like button and subscribe for more content in the near future. And that's right, I'll be back here soon, guys. Don't worry, and I'll see you all later. Alright, goodbye, trainers.